Welcome to the Bioptimizer's awesome health podcast. And now here's your host, Wade T. Lightheart. What if you could double your energy naturally without caffeine or stimulants in just three short months? It's not only possible, you can transform every aspect of your health if you follow the 12-week blueprint we've created for you in the Awesome Health System. The Awesome Health System is a free course where you receive a daily video lesson spanning the most cutting-edge secrets for air, water, exercise, sunshine, optimizers, mindset, and education. It's something most companies would charge hundreds of dollars for, yet you get it for free when you go to buyoptimizers.com. To access your course, register to download the PDF report called Three Phases of Bioptimization, which gets you access to the report and daily access to the first lesson in the 12-week, 84-day Awesome Health course. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. It's Wade T. Lightheart from Bioptimizers with another edition of the Awesome Health Podcast. And today, we're going to talk about a lot of interesting topics, particularly about ozone, but our special guest today is Eileen Durfee. And she's a health pioneer, businesswoman, and innovator who has reinvented a way to distribute natural healing products to protect others from toxicity. Now, she's very qualified for this because she is a former nuclear power plant engineer who became sick due to chemical exposure, suffered from chronic pain, allergies, Hashimoto's, hypothyroidism, and lack of energies. These symptoms were the result of her body not eliminating the toxins to which she was regularly exposed. She tried a variety of medications, diets, and therapies, and more to help recover her health. And now she is on a quest to heal her body. She engineered solutions with her vast knowledge and experience to help others. Eileen, welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having me. So I think this is, you know, so many people talk about toxins, detoxification, the impact of toxins on our health. And I think a lot of people don't really understand maybe the categories of toxicity or their impacts. But almost everyone who is an expert in this area has had to detoxify them for something. Can you tell our listeners a little bit about your own journey from a nuclear plant, power plant engineer to a health advocate? That is like a, that's like that's a pretty big job. Right. Well, it's because I had problems that I needed to solve. I really my whole life I've been sick. Everything from when they pulled me out of my mom with forceps and my hips were twisted. And every time I walked, one knee hit the other. I'd wear special shoes. I was in chronic pain. I grew nine inches in three months. I was ran over by a car in a parking lot. I just went through suffering and got a silver amalgam filling, you know, when I was like 19. And then I became allergic to everything and just my health went down from there. And I just, you know, used medicines for a while. And, but I just had this underlying feeling that if my body just had what it needed, it could heal itself. So, I mean, I was eating paleo before paleo existed in the eighties and trying all these Dr. Bernard Jensen mm -hmm. tissue cleansing through bowel management, just on yeah. and on and on. I was trying all these things, being my own guinea pig while working. Uh, I was doing nuclear power plant. You know, that was back before OSHA really gave you fresh air when you were breathing all these fumes you weren't supposed to be breathing right. and all that. And, and actually my genealogy, I'm related to the kid they moved the made the movie over the kid in the bubble oh wow <laughs> so my genetics you know and i just recently got some genetic testing and sure enough my body does not eliminate toxins mm -hmm. so are you missing the gene on the like the gut detoxification or is it another yeah i have the gut one i got a whole bunch of them you know yeah. you know i it's really I, interesting like when you get into the dna and then it's just like what you I was saying this to a DNA expert the other day, we were looking at stuff and it's like, 
what took me 30 years to figure out on my own, I could figure out in like 30 hours of deep dive. I would yeah. solve all the things that took me 30 years to figure out by trial and error. Yeah. And so that's what I was doing. A lot of trial and error, but I was really, I switched from medications to natural substance chasing symptoms. But then I learned, right. you know, we got to get out of chasing symptoms because some things that you use to medicate one symptom, even though it's natural, will cause another problem. Just a, just a point on that for our listeners, the New England Journal of Medicine, you can go look this up, states unequivocally at the first of its journal publications that they do not cure illnesses or disease they treat the symptoms of that's a clue so i think a lot of people um really put an unfair expectation on the medical industry it's kind of like a bait and switch they they think that the medical industry is there to provide health care and it's not it's to manage the symptoms of their genetics in combination with lifestyle, whether that was conscious choices yeah. or unconscious choices. And as soon as you grasp that picture as, as, as understanding why so many people continue to go down the medical route and just going pill after pill and surgery after surgery and, you know, treatment after treatment, they, they don't understand that they're, they're, they're applying the wrong application to their issue to their issue yeah. it, it's actually doing what it does they're treating the symptoms they're not going to make the problem go away when did you make that like when did you figure that out like as an engineer in 2011 how many years had you gone down the other way oh my gosh it was about in 1995 that I started, no, 1994, no, 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 this is 1984, I found out that I had leaky gut and candida was in play of why I became allergic to everything. So, I mean, even though they put me on niastatin and ketoconazole, I mean, I got off those. I did the diet where I never ate more than 100 carbs in a day, mm -hmm. no sugars, nothing, everything fresh, cooked. I wouldn't eat something from the same family within 72 hours. I'd become allergic to it. So I did the rotation diet. I mean, I did that for like three years. And then I found out about ozone you know, drinking ozonated water because the candida can't mutate against that. It's not an antifungal. And so that really helped me out. And, you know, just this evolution, but it was in 2011 when I got a hair analysis. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a farmer doing a soil test to figure out what fertilizer and they don't put nitrogen on the soil to raise nitrogen in the plant, but we'll go, oh, we're deficient in zinc. Let's take zinc. But that's not how the elements move. Zinc lowers sodium and raises potassium. And, you know, so there's, there's a hierarchy. You move one, you move them all. And when I started hair analysis, you know, before that, I had cupboards full of supplements. You would not believe the amount of supplements that I was taking. And I was oh, chasing I all these symptoms. Oh, I would believe it. <laughs> and I've then I was- Great supplement cabins. And then- I was afraid to stop taking what I was taking when a new symptom would crop up and I would just add something else. But I mean, I started developing all this rheumatoid joint pain. Well, all the extra calcium and magnesium I was taking to sleep and go to the bathroom was going in all the wrong places. It was going in my joints and it was slowing down my thyroid gland. And all. I mean, so when I got on the hair analysis program, it was like, all these symptoms of anxiety, panic attacks, not sleeping, psoriasis and acne, and you know, not being able to remember anything and just never feeling rested or energized. 
And it's just like, and I had this chronic pain. So I had this multiple wave oscillator and Rife machine that I used all the time to medicate. You oh, know, you got a multiple wave oscillator. Oscilla oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now that <laughs> I was just talking about that yesterday because I wanted to grab one of those. A friend of mine had one. And you, like, you could just, ah. like, you just see it fix scars and stuff. Like, it's like crazy. Oh, my gosh. I, you know, cause I would go in there for 30 minutes every other day and I'd be pain free, but it, it's, it's like dragging around jumper cables with your car battery. Did you have the one with the wooden box and the argon light? I've got the copper coils. The oh, big ones, okay. the I, one I, I from the Australia. One, I, I've used the one with the wooden box and it's got the argon light wand and like it shoots like a lightning out of your uh, yeah, out of well the you can sit light. there and hold a light bulb in your hand when you're in between there and the thing lights yeah, up it's, it's, it's just, <laughs> yeah it's wild stuff it raises your cell voltages and i mean it was used in medical trials in new york in 1920 until the guy got killed but it was getting rid of cancers and arthritis and you know prostate problems it was just like miracle type stuff so yeah, I have one of those. And so then I realized, okay, it's the minerals getting to the toxins because every cell in our body is an enzyme binding site. That's right. You know, by design, our bones have calcium. Our thyroid gland has more selenium, the man's prostate, more zinc. So those are what's supposed to be there. But we're like jalopies. We're like using bailing wire and junkyard parts. The body literally will prefer using lead for calcium than nothing at all. And so we got to remove the reason why we had to adapt to that, you know, so I, on the hair analysis program. So, so, so you would say this is what you're qualifying, maybe the components of what heavy metal toxicity would actually constitute. And through yeah. hair analysis is where this got revealed to you? Yes, yes. That's when I finally made that connection. And so then, you know, I started doing daily coffee enemas and near infrared saunas because I thought the guy was prejudiced, but I, you know, was going to go on a trip. So I had these light panels day one, you know, I didn't sweat as much day two, day three, I was sweating like crazy. And I had this energetic, clean feeling over me that I never took a regular sauna since I use the incandescent bulb saunas and then I mm -hmm. invented a better widget to do that with and you know so I was able to really start detoxifying but I after five months uh, three months on the program it's just like almost all my symptoms went away and they go well, you need to retest again and I'm going oh I, I feel fine in five months I all of a sudden I started not sleeping, having anxiety, having joint pain again. They got the test results. And out of all the supplements they recommended, they said, don't take two, two, two of this, only take one, one, one. So I just made that change. And within three days, all those symptoms went away again. Then I was like horrified. You mean these cabinet fulls of vitamins I've been shoveling down my throat? For years, I could have been causing a lot of my own problems. And so I just started, you know, using these detoxification protocols. And, you know, I'd go, man, I wish it was like this. And then I'd fall asleep. And that's how my brain works. Because I draw an AutoCAD and I design stuff. And I, you know, and so I see the better widget. And then I didn't have any brothers. And I mean, I know how to do finished carpentry and tile work and, electrical and framing. And, you know, I mean, I, I can run a backhoe, wire 200 amp electrical service. I mean, I can do it all. Wow. And so I just build my prototypes and, you know, so I'm tinkering all the time. That's my joy. It's like, I tell people, I feel like I'm in my fourth life in this life, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm 60 years old. I have no pain in my body. I mean, I'm more muscular than I was. I'm sleeping well waking up with energy I can think I don't have psoriasis all over my body my hair's not falling out I mean and so now I get to help people you know with their journey with you know gizmos and gadgets that can make their life easier 
So that's kind of how I went from, because I did nuclear power plant, you know, engineering, auditing, you know, inspection, you know, wrote procedures, did all that kind of stuff. Then when the nuclear power plant industry, the construction phase had ended, you know, because everything was either mothballed or operating. Then I went into real estate. So I did land development, managed rental units. Then I ran construction crews. I uh, built 12 houses a year, ordered all the materials, went on site, scheduled, ran the subs. I was a realtor. I sold properties. Then I managed nonprofit corporations, did all their financials and their books and their board meetings. And then you know, I started my, my hobby of getting myself well into a small business. That was in 2010. And then I was fully no longer doing anything else but my health business in 2013, 14. And it just, you know, keeps on growing. We added 34 new products last year. And I'm going to be adding more products this year. We make our own skincare line because after all, you know, you put stuff on your skin. That's the thing is this has not been a silver bullet to my recovery. You have to think about what you're breathing, what you're drinking, what you're putting on your skin. And then even if you're a saint of eating everything perfect, you can't get away from the toxins. So you have to get it out of your body. So mm -hmm. you got to have some detox protocols and then your structure. People don't realize how much energy their body spends with tight muscles, keeping yourself erect in gravity. And after being ran over by a car, my experience with Dr. Sugar and spinal fitness and getting that S-shaped curve and, you know, maintaining that. I mean, you x-ray my body, my, my discs are not wore out. My bones are not worn off. I've regularly, you know, taken care of my structure. And so it's kind of like a whole body approach. <laughs> it's phenomenal. Um, I think it was Hippocrates said that the best healers are not blessed with robust health that they often struggle with their own journey, which gives both the empathy and the drive in order to cultivate the understanding and capacity to heal oneself and others. Yeah. Very, very common. I want to dive into a topic that I'm, I leverage uh, consistently, and that is the use of ozone and ozone has a very interesting history and how it's been used and and its application and there's a lot of i would say there's an enigma around ozone there's a lot of uh i think fears and then also there are people who do mishandle the technology as well which then contributes to those fears however it is probably one of the best detoxification methodologies uh, i've come in contact with and does a wonderful array of things. When did you first come in contact with ozone and how did it impact your health? I think it was 90, 95, 96. I heard about drinking ozonated water. And so that's what I did. I got my little generator and would put a diffuser ball in water and ozonate it and drink it on an empty stomach. And it would actually reduce candida. And there's a reason why it's, you know, it, ozone is such a miracle. You know, uh, it helped me so much because I was having to take larger and larger amounts of antifungal to control the candida. And this is a big issue for people like fungus. You know, Dave Asprey probably is one of the more famous people who have outlined his battle with fungus mold these type of things that really disrupted his health for years and led him on his his uh, journey into biohacking where do you think that it like how did that do you think that you got exposed to it or got integrated with it or sort of ha happened for you what, what was your experience leading into that and and what was its effects well at that time well, my mom was really sick as well. So she'd be doing readings. So 
you know, and I had young children at the time and working. And so, you know, when it, whatever she would find out, I'd be trying it too. And so I think my mom found out about, you know, ozonated water and it's the same company in New Zealand that I found out about the multiple wave oscillator and the Bob Beck zapper and the Hulda Clark zapper and, you know, those kinds of things. So we were starting to get into the zappers and doing the ozonated water because then we wouldn't have to be taking so much antifungals to keep the candida in check. And then you'd feel like, you'd, well, it's not exactly like drinking a cup of coffee, but it gives you energy that's more natural and doesn't crash you. And so at the time, it was just kind of like a collaboration with my mom finding out things and sharing them with me and, you know, me trusting her and, you know, trying that. And so it was monumental of how it, you know, helped me. Uh, and so it wasn't... Uh, until, well, I got tired of having to buy these ozone generators that only lasted a year because they'd wear out, you know, at the time I didn't get into the medical encephalation or get my blood ozonated and all that. Those are like some, you know, therapies that people should be doing, but like on a daily basis to be able to clean your food. So you're you know, getting rid of the parasite larvae, the, any pesticide residues or any salmonella E. coli listeria. So you're like taking the straws off the camel's back so your immune system doesn't have to handle it. So using a, like a corona discharge ozone generator at home for that purpose is great. And so that's, you know, where I started with that. And, and then it was uh, a frustration of the machines always, you know, wearing out because when you use them every day, you know, you rack up the hours and, you know, so then it's also the amount of milligrams per hour. There's different brands that are famous. I think soda is pretty famous, but, you know, the milligrams per hour that they output, you know, makes a difference. And at that time, you know, I see yeah, Alpine Air, I mean, they got shut down by the FTC, but they were selling air purifiers that were just ozone generators emitting a lot of ozone in the air. And I was guilty of that, man. I had one in my house. You walk in my house, it smelled like ozone. And I had no idea what I was doing to my body. Mm -hmm. You know, I was damaging my body and a lot of my gastrointestinal upset was the side effect of inhaling too much ozone gas. Not mm -hmm. only I was causing permanent lung damage, you know, but... Uh, as time went on, then I ended up getting an ozone generator made that had the 8,000 hour generator that's more expensive. So I wouldn't have to, I mean, I have ozone generators that I had made first in 2013 that are still running. I, I have one in my kitchen now. And so it's like, you know, that's the first thing I wanted to fix is let's get something reliable because this is something that people should be using, you know, all the time. And then, um, Later on, uh, you know, I had a guy who bought one of my ozone generators and he actually, for his job, measured levels of ozone in the air. And he was like going into how unsafe it was and all this kind of stuff. So I started reading about the degassing technologies around. And I bought from a company in Canada a degassing so I could bubble the ozone ozonated water and degas the gas that doesn't dissolve because there's two ways to get ozone in water. It's either diffusion, which creates small little bubbles. And the smaller the bubble, the more surface area, so the faster the transfer rate. Or there's under pressure with a venturi injection tea, like farmers might use a venturi injection tea to suck up fertilizer to put in their water line. Same thing, you can mix ozone gas that way, but that way you get 85% dissolved and 15% that doesn't. But I got this beaker and I got my dissolved ozone meter and my ambient air ozone meter and 
with the little diffuser that was on the glass straw, I couldn't get more than 0.5 part per million ozonated water. And I wanted to get at least one, if not one and a half. And so then I'm like cutting the thing off and trying to put on a different deal. And then it, it, it's like a high school science speaker that has a thing with tubes that go to this PVC pipe. Then it's like, how do you carry that around very easily? You know, and they wanted $275 for it. It was like, oh my gosh. So I went to sleep and I saw basically just a glass jar with a handle with a filter cap that had an internal tube that you hook any ozone generator into it with this apparatus to dissolve ozone much faster. So I filed a patent and I got the utility patent for it. And I, it, it's the refresh, the Trixie refresh. And so now we can safely without breathing in the you know, the fumes. And when I started first learning about the damages, what is it doing? My son was at the University of Washington taking biology and chemistry classes. And I said, why is only 0.3 part per million safe for someone who has COPD or asthma? Or why does OSHA say you can only breathe 0.1, but the maximum is 0.08? Why is that? So he did some research and got back to me. He says, mom, it's because the ozone is competing with oxygen receptor sites in the lungs and the lungs are full of lipids. And if the, if the listeners don't know, but ozone gas is three molecules of O1, 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 and O1. And the miracle of ozone is that in nature, you know, we have positive and negative, you know, two's a pair. The third guy is odd man out, not going to hang around long. And so that O1 breaks off and it has an oxidation potential. So it oxidizes. I mean, matter is what? Just different number of electrons around a nucleus. So here is this O1 is out there breaking down whatever that is into something else. And so nothing can mutate against it. It through cell lysing, like any pathogen has a cell. So the ozone goes and blows a hole in the cell membrane. So it's killed. And every pathogen has a concentration and duration of exposure to kill it. Like E. coli, you know, how many people have died from E. coli outbreaks in food, but yeah. it only takes 0.1 part per million dissolved ozone to kill E. coli in 15 seconds. So with my quick degassing diffuser, in five minutes, you can have 32 ounces at 1.5 part per million. How fast is that going to get rid of the E. coli off your food or the listeria or the salmonella? And so for our immune systems at any given time, we all have a pathogenic load that, right. I mean, we're not, we're not like maybe having the flu or COVID, but we're carrying around with us, maybe Epstein-Barr virus or whatever. You, you make a very good point here. And there's, and I think a lot of people, we are always looking for the singular aspect of health or the singular cause of disease. Any given time, our immune system are fighting off an array of challenging organisms and viruses and parasites and bacteria and, you know, all these things, which some people will refer to as infections or uh, where you're having damage being done to the body by these, these elements. So we'll leave it at that. And that has a, you know, our immune system is able to handle a certain amount of load. And then when you get stressed or you get over like, like your capacity to handle load or you get exposed to a lot of something, you go over your capacity and that's when you get sick. But what you're saying, and, and, I, and I really align with this philosophy is to recognize, well, my immune system is really good at handling things, provided I can give it enough tools to, 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 to really produce, to push down the amount of contaminants I might be exposed. To or, or, or contaminating uh, organisms. 
And so ozone is a way to kind of beat down the generalized aspect so that your immune system can respond to whatever's coming in the virus. Would that be a, a fair? Absolutely. Statement? The Bioptimizer mission is to help more of the world fix their digestion at a core level. The truth is your digestion is only as good as your enzyme levels. Imagine trying to build a house with a tree. It's impossible. You need to chop the tree down into small pieces. Similarly, in order for your food to be used by your body, it must be broken down into a bioavailable form. And that's what enzymes do, converting protein into amino acids, fats into specific fatty acids, and carbohydrates into usable energy units. We start out with an abundance of enzymes, and that's why kids can digest just about anything really quickly. The thing is, is cooking food kills enzymes as they cannot survive at temperatures above 118 degrees. So years of this ends up depleting our bodies and leads to weak digestion. Taking digestive enzymes like masszymes, which has an incredibly high level of protease for digesting protein, as well as other critical enzymes like lipase, amylase, and others is a total game changer. Suddenly you strengthen your digestion, eliminate gas and bloating, boost metabolism, and multiply your energy. Most importantly, you fix your digestion at a core level. To get started with Masszymes and to save 10% on your first order, go to Masszymes.com. That's M-A-S-S-Z-Y-M-E-S.com and use the code MASS10, M-A-S-S-1-0. Yeah. So the first line of defense is don't be eating it. Make right. your food safe with ozonated water. They use ozonated water in all kinds of industries. The bottled water industry, they mm. use them in, you know, vineyards and, mm. you know, winemaking and, and cattle and, you know, just everything. They're using ozonated water because, it, I mean, the city of LA, they ozonate sewage into Correct. clear water. Yeah, so that should tell people a little bit of a clue. I know I myself, I use it. I, I actually, uh, I sit in a hocap machine uh, on a regular basis, which I have one in my house and it turns on ozone. I sit in ozone on a steam thing. My head's out, so I'm not breathing it and you cover it so you don't inhale the ozone gas. And oh, yeah. it's remarkable what, that you like, it just open up the pores and the ozone goes in and you come out of there and, and there is... When you get exposed to ozone on a regular basis, there, it's it's hard to explain what that feels like. But there is a a clearness or a vibrancy or an energy, and people will start to comment, "Boy, you look really healthy." <laughs> you, have you found that? Yes, I have. Yeah, it's and so. So your process for using ozone, um, can you explain to people specifically what you do on a day-to-day -day basis to use ozone uh, as part of your regimen for beating down the bad guys? <laughs> well, I make and drink a glass of ozonated water on an empty stomach. Okay. And you do that first it, thing in the morning? Or? Yeah. And you know, people always ask me, you know, they'll want to take their vitamins with their ozonated water. And I'm going like, no, 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 because it's going to break down the goodness of your vitamins. And then it's going to use up the oxidation potential of the ozone. So it makes two good things worse. You know, no, 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 no. And then I'm using it, uh, you know, for cleaning all my food. I mean, you can take a black light, you know, they tell you like for a chicken breast, for instance, don't rinse it. You know, they'll show black lights about how you spread salmonella all over your kitchen. But I always watch my chicken breast, but I use ozonated water and you can use a black light before and after. And it's like, they're all gone. Those, those salmonella guys are gone, you know? <laughs> and so I'm using it all the time in the kitchen. It's like, I'm almost, if I go out to eat, and there's like vegetables or a salad bar or something. I'm like almost horrified to eat it because I know it hasn't been washed in ozonated water. <laughs> you know, it's because it's like I wash everything, you know, my meats, my, you know, vegetables, anything I'm, you know, ozonated because everything is grown, even if it's organic, 
everything is grown outdoors in dirt. So what does dirt have? It's got all kinds of microbes and parasite larvae and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And so my daily regimen is I drink just eight ounces of ozonated water and then I clean all my stuff with it. I mean, I can even, um, you know, make ozonated water and then sterilize you know, the counters with it, or mm -hmm. like every once in a while, I'll go around and make ozonated water and you have to use it right away. Yeah, because that oxidation happens depending right. on temperature and pH and total dissolved solids in the water that you ozonated, you know, so the sooner the better. So I just make it use it. You know, it might still be active in 2030 minutes. But that gives a person an idea, you just make it and you use it. And it just, uh, you know, is, is wonderful. You know, you feel refreshed, but it's strange because I've had people that I've taught to make ozonated water. And this one lady had, a, had headaches all the time, migraines. She drank four ounces because I said, start slow because we don't know how you're going to react. She drank four ounces and boom, her headache went away. And it, then I had a person... Cool that didn't have a headache that drank four ounces that got a headache. So you, you just have to start slow and, you know, go from there and, you know, and work up and, and, you know, cause it's half an hour before you eat or two hours after you eat. Right. Right. And how would you say starting slow would be for someone who would wanted to do that? Well, like if you're using my diffuser to where you're going to end up with like 1.5, parts per million uh you know so four ounces might even be you know too much mm -hmm. so you know just make a little bit use the rest to clean something with mm -hmm. and uh you know and then uh go from there but most people can handle that much yeah but there's a lot of people, if you're one of those people that are very allergic, you're very sensitive to everything, then you're going to have to take baby steps. Yeah. But the other people, it's like I had people that bought it and they were drinking a liter of ozonated water a day. Then they heard me talk about starting slow and they're like calling me. I didn't feel anything but great. I, I want to drink more of this stuff, you know. <laughs> so and is there a is there a limit that you can have of that? Like, can you what's too much? Well, like uh, cancertutor.com recommends that, that people that are dealing with cancer not to use it as a standalone treatment, but they recommend drinking up to two liters of ozonated water a day. Mm -hmm. So it's really just let your body be your guide because, you know, you are going to want to drink water more often than when it's okay to drink ozonated water. So it's better not to like chug a whole bunch of ozonated water than be dehydrated for hours right? and, and then drink it again. You know, it's better to be hydrated throughout the day. And, and what are some of the things that you think that ozone uh, therapy or you drinking ozonated water can be effective against? Well, let me tell you a little bit about ozone. So it's smart. You know, it's like... There's, there's studies out there that show that on different pathogens that ozone is 3,000 to 10,000 times more pathogenic than chlorine bleach. Wow. But we can't drink chlorine. So right. what is this about ozone? How is it so special? Well, when I say it's smart is that healthy cells that are not infected, that have enough oxygen to to operate have a protective enzyme coating around them like you know the good bacteria healthy enzyme coating around them so ozone passes those by it doesn't oxidize them so it's like going after <laughs> the cells that are infected or that your body's in the process of recycling because every day our body's recycling cells and building new cells so it gives a, our immune system, again, a leg up on helping that recycle process continue so it doesn't malfunction and maybe let cancer go crazy. So it's helping, you know, the body that way. 
And so if that's not a miracle enough, I mean, one other aspect people need to realize is how powerful ozone is, is that when there's contaminated groundwater, our environmental protection agency drills wells, has a giant ozonator and ozonates the aquifer because it gets rid of heavy metals and petrochemicals and all that bad stuff. So here we're mostly water, right? So again, you know, besides helping recycle the cells, not touching the healthy cells or the good bacteria, it's going after the bad stuff. Then it's also then when it comes in contact with heavy metals or, you know, uh, glycophosphates or any of the BPAs or all the bad stuff that we, we, you know, we know is in our body, it's going to help our body eliminate that because it's going to break down and create it into a substance that the body can, you know, get rid of. But what happens to the O3 when that, when the O1 is gone, it becomes pure O2. And guess what? We're indoors, so our heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems are stripping out oxygen of the air and the negative ions. And we're sedentary. A lot of people, when we're not active, we have lower oxygen levels. And so this gives us pure O2, so it boosts our internal oxygen metabolism, so then more cells can have the protective enzyme coating to be more resistant to infection from these pathogens. It's like when you said ozone and you were talking about how miraculous it, it was, it is. P people don't realize the power of ozone. And I'll just read you a little bit. There's some studies on PubMed and multiple studies confirm ozonated water benefits, including increased glutathione, our master antioxidant. So that's fabulous. Uh, that's something else. It increases superoxide dismutase, you know, catalase, prostacyclin, you know, it increases red blood cell glycolysis rate. I mean, it just inactivates those studies showed bacteria, virus, fungus, yeast, and protozoa. So it, it's just, it's just everyone <laughs> should be using ozonated water, but not breathing it. You need to adequately degas it because I have people to go, well, I love the smell of ozone. Mm -hmm. You know, my son was explaining, mom, the reason why they begin deep breathing is their body's in reactive mode. It's a homostatic response because it needs more oxygen. So they're not deep breathing because they're breathing better. Where can they get one of these water devices? How can they find out more about it? Maybe get one, start experimenting with it. I know that you're an engineer and had a lot of experience with say poor quality devices. Where could they find one from uh, that meets your standards? Well, the website is creatrixsolutions.com. So it's C-R-E-A-T-R-I-X solutions.com and there's a whole section on ozone we pretty much have a countertop model that's an 800 milligram per hour and it's got a remote or a touch pad it comes with all the tubing and a variety of different diffusers and then we have the degasser that comes or a better price in a kit together then for the people who are into animals and gardening and growing, I have one, a big one. <laughs> they have a handle with legs on it and it makes six part per million ozonated water. It's a monster. You screw a hose in there and then you screw a hose on the outlet and you can spray and no longer have to use chemicals on your plants because it gets rid of powdery mold and mildew. And the byproduct is, is your plants will actually produce more of a harvest for you and they grow healthier. They love fuller ozonated water. I have people in 4-H, they go out and slop the hogs and feed the chickens and they're using in the watering troughs, no more algae. 
but also they spray down the pig pens and it kills the larvae. So no more flies in a pig pen and they don't have to put miticide on the animal's eyes. You can wash your pets with it. Uh, you know, it, I have people growing hemp and cannabis using it in their, you know, facilities for that. So it's amazing. This is insightful and delightful. And I'm encouraged that you've had so much experience and have developed uh, access for people to get one of these technologies. I highly recommend people who are suffering from detoxification problems to experiment with ozone. I know I use it in my own life. Many of my health advocates use it in their lives. It's really, really great. And you've done a wonderful job of explaining uh, how it works and the benefits. Uh, and also um, some of the things that maybe I didn't know, like uh, you can spray it on your plants, you can increase <laughs> the yield. So um, any final words that you would like to say to our listeners today, uh, as well as where to follow you, all the social media stuff, all, all anything like that? Sure. Well, one thing I do want to say is my ozone generators are Corona discharge and are not suitable for encephalation or the medical grade to ozonate blood or whatever. And the reason being is, is that when you take ambient air, it's got oxygen and nitrogen, those two combine and they make a small percentage of nitrous oxide. That's laughing gas. Mm -hmm. But however, if you were to pump that in gas in a body cavity, you know, it's no good. Even though my generator has been tested, it only produces 0.003% of this laughing gas. So it, it's totally safe for making ozonated water, drinking it. You know, I mean, I think the part per million that you're allowed, you know, like when you go to the dentist, they give you laughing gas or whatever is like 25 part per million. So this is 0.003%, you know, totally safe for even doing an ozonated water enema. You just can't use it. But I recommend people go and get that other type of ozone, you know, therapy. But this is just more for the everyday household, I mean, you know, killing things, making it safe. And then when I leave, when I know I'm going to leave, let's say I burnt something I was cooking and I'm leaving, I'll turn on my ozone generator, discharge it straight in the air and leave, mm -hmm. you know, set it on the timer for an hour. Maybe when I'm coming back for an hour and a half, let it oxidize and do its thing so then the ambient levels are are not there so it's safe to come back so that's something you can use it as well for but i just wanted to clarify that because people go oh wow it's so much more affordable than getting a medical one with the mm -hmm. the oxygen tank but there's a place for that yeah where can people find you oh and yeah find out more about you creatrix solutions on instagram and then I think Creatrix products on, you know, Facebook and, but yeah, on the website, there's the little buttons down and we have a lot of videos on the YouTube channel. So that would be, you know, the Creatrix Solutions YouTube channel is a good one. Well, Eileen, you are literally a breath of fresh air or fresh <laughs> ozone, shall we say. I want to thank you for joining us today. And for all our listeners, I want to thank you for listening to us. If you like this podcast, be sure to share it, put a like, subscribe to the channel and find out more information um, with Eileen about a lot of things. We only talked about one of the items that she does. She has a lot of creative solutions. So hop on over to our website, check out some of the great things that Eileen is doing over there and take your next step on your awesome health journey. I'm Way T. Lightheart from Bioptimizers and the Awesome Health Podcast. Thank you for joining, and we'll see you on the next episode. At Bioptimizers, our mission is to fix digestion, and a cornerstone of digestion is gut flora. P3OM is our patented probiotic formula. In fact, we call it the Navy SEALs of probiotics. You see, strong proteolytic or protein digesting activity is paramount to having a healthy gut flora. And of course, P3OM provides that. The good news is, unlike weaker probiotics, 
P3OM survives the digestion process. What it does is it basically multiplies the good guys while protecting you against pathogens or what some people call the bad guys. P3OM really helps to rebuild your digestion. And what that allows you to do is to maximize nutrient uptake, energy, and metabolism. To find out more of how P3OM can help you, go to www.bioptimizers.com. Thank you for listening to the Bioptimizers Awesome Health Podcast. You can find more information at bioptimizers.com.